guys, welcome back to math class. Um, we're gonna get started right away on three questions, okay? Um, my first question is gonna be about our friend, Freddie. Hi, Freddie, how are you? Uh, Freddie had a birthday quite a while ago, but he maybe didn't have a chance to spend his money. So we're gonna do a money question about Freddie. Uh, it's gonna be about dollars, so listen carefully. Freddie's uh, mom gave him $35, and his dad gave him 25 more. So he, now he, how much does he have to go shopping? Ooh. So let's see, it was 25 and 35. So $35 for mom and $25 from dad, and he wants to go shopping. We wanna know how much money he's gonna have to spend, right? All right, so 35. And I'm gonna do it without sticks today. I'm gonna pretend I'm you guys so that we can practice without the manipulatives, just having a picture that we can draw. Okay, does that make sense? Because I know you're at home and you don't have your tens and ones. So we can draw them. So 35, so 10, 20, 30, five. One, two, three, four, five. They're not beautiful, but they work. And then dad gave him 25 more. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, so here's the thing. Five dollars, I mean five ones plus five ones. How much is five plus five? 10. Remember, you can't put 10 here. That wouldn't be fair, would it? No, that's one of the rules that you can't break. So how much is five plus five was 10, right? These five plus this five is 10. So you can make a 10 stick with those, right? And move it on over. So now you don't have any ones because you traded them in. He took the five ones and five ones and built a 10 stick. Okay, so we can add it over here. Whoop. Good. So now we have no ones and one new 10 stick. We had to put over here. Now we can add it. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Six tens. Because look, three tens plus two tens plus that new one 10 is six. One, two, three, four, five, six tens, which is 60. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right, let's do an estimate to see if we're, we were right um, about our answer. 35. Oh, well, it's kind of tricky because the fives are kind of right in the middle, aren't they? Yeah, so we're not going to do an estimate. Um, but if we did, let's pretend we did it the wrong way and we put the two digits in the, in the ones place. Let's say we forgot the rule and we did five plus five is 10 and three plus two is five. 510, we went from 60 to 510. Is that even close? No, that's not even close, is it? So that's why it's really important that you remember that rule. No two digits in the ones column or any column. All right, so let's see, five plus five was 10, oops, I'm terrible. So we put the zero here and the one 10 up there that we made. And then three plus two plus one is six. 60 is a lot different than 500, yeah. All right, erase the speedy quick if you're following along. Let's do the next one. The next one says, uh, let's see, Addie, this one's gonna be about you because you also had a summer birthday or March birthday, April, I don't know not too long ago. Uh, Addie had $38 that she saved. And then her Aunt Kinsey, yeah, she's always uh, giving you stuff, isn't she? Yeah, let's pretend Kinsey give you, gave you 25 more dollars. Ooh, so now you have $38 plus $25. What do you think? Let's make it 38, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. And if it makes you feel better, I'll make them actual tens. I know, some people need to have them, that's fine. You know there's 10 in there. Yeah. All right, so 38, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I don't know, did you see this? There you go. Good. And then 25, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. All right, how much is 8 and 5? 8 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This 13. All right, so 8 and 2 more. Whoop, that will be a 10. And then you have 13. You have 3 extras. Okay, so that 13, it's almost like you're cutting in half, remember? You're going to leave the three little ones behind and the one new 10 that you made up here. So you take that 13 and you split it in half. Three down at the bottom, one at the top. All right, and now you can add up your 10. Don't forget this new 10 that you just made. This is a 10 now. So three tens plus two tens is five tens plus the one new one that you just made. So how much is three plus two plus one more? Six. Did you get six? Yes. So the answer is 63. Pretty good. Right. You just, you know what? You'll get better at it. If you had some mistakes, that's okay. You'll get better at it as the time goes on because this is brand new for us this week. So it's going to be a little bit hard. All right. The last one for today. Uh, let's see. It's about Lynn. Hi, Lynn. It says Lynn had $60 and his mom gave him 20 more. Okay. You guys are going to be so lucky to go shopping. $60 and 20 more. Mm, this one might be so easy. You won't even have to do it with paper. You can do it in your head, huh? By counting on tens. But let's try it anyway. All right. Zero plus zero. How much is zero plus zero? Zero. Okay, so did we have to do any kind of regrouping? No. Did we have to put an extra one at the top? No. You know what happens? Sometimes when Miss Herbal teaches you how about making a 10 and carrying the one over there, that one 10, and you put the one up there, then when you learn that, you think you have to do it every single time, and you don't, okay? The only time you put the one over there is when you make a new 10. We didn't have to do that. So don't start sticking a one up there for no reason, because that happens. <laughs> All right, zero plus zero is zero. Six plus two, six tens plus two tens is eight. But truly, guys, you could have probably done that mentally in your, math, in your mental math, right? Listen, 60 plus 20 more. So 60, 70, 80. You just have to picture two more tens, right? If you know, 20 is two more tens. You know how to count 10 more and 10 less easy, right? From class and army math. So 60, 70, 80. You could have done that really quickly, I think, in your brain. Yeah. All right. So sometimes you don't have to, you got to look at what they're asking and then decide what is the best way to do it. Can I do it mentally in my mind? Can I do it with a picture drawn tens and ones? Do I need to? Can I do it up and down? Right? With, and add up all your ones and tens first. It's up to you. You have to look at it and decide what they're asking and how you're going to solve it. Does that make sense? All right. All right. Go on Moby Max. Go on Prodigy. Go on, uh, do your review pages in your math packets. There's lots of math that you could be doing for practice. Okay? Have mom and dad or brother or whoever takes care of you, have them do some, uh, adding problems for you, some tough ones, now that you know how to um, regroup. Now you can do bigger ones that your brother and sisters and stuff can teach you. All right? All right, and you know what to do. Keep learning.